Chef Pennington here. Today we're going to be covering something that's very cool, zucchini taco shells. It is possible to make a taco shell out of zucchini, and it is delicious and it holds up for everything you could ever imagine a taco shell would need to do, plus it's going to have more flavor than anybody could imagine. Let's begin. We're going to take four zucchinis, and we're going to cut their ends off. Then we're going to grab a box grater, we're going to grate all four of them up. Takes a moment or two, but a little exercise in the kitchen never hurt. From there, we're going to grab a dish towel. And this is truly the most important part. We need to get all the water out, or most of the water out. So do take your time. So I'm going to initially start squeezing out water. And you'll be surprised how much water comes out. It's really quite, quite impressive. And from here, I'm going to start turning and turning and turning, trying to squeeze tighter and tighter, get all the water out. From there, in the sake of science, I'm going to take a shot of zucchini water, see what it tastes like for y'all, and see what we got. Eh, it wasn't that great. <laughs> Alright, three quarters of a, of a cup of Parmesan cheese. This is a binding agent. This is part of the magic why it holds together, and who doesn't like cheese? So, three quarters of a cup, loose cup. A little more is better than less. Alright, we're going to cut up two scallions, or green onions, into the bowl. Two eggs. Go ahead and mix those guys up. That's the other binding agent. So the magic is in the cheese and in the egg. And this is some homemade fajita seasoning. I will put the recipe for you. Actually, I'll put it on the screen. There you go. All right, salt. Salt's important. It's one of the electrolytes. You just don't have too much, and we're good. So you want to be gentle here when you start doing this up. We don't want to break up the zucchini. Um, so that's pretty important there. Just be gentle. It'll come together fairly quick. And then we're going to... I took a burger shaper deal right here and just gently made them the size of uh, taco shells. Whatever size you like. They're really not, they're going to stay the same size in the oven. They're not going to really expand and get big on you. Into the oven, 450 for about 20 minutes. Boom, here we go, guys. Zucchini taco shells. It really works. It holds up, doesn't fall apart. All the flavor looks nice on the plate. Look at that. Enjoy, guys. For the full recipe and step-by-step -step instructions, be sure to visit foodandhealthwellness.com forward slash zucchini taco shells.